Today's video on how to quit your job and live abroad has been broken down into six stages. Stage one, the money. Stage two, the initial process. Stage three, the checklist. Stage four, setting the date. Stage five, face the fears. Stage six, I quit. Here at Al of Asia headquarters, we often discuss living in Asia. Therefore, I will use Asia as the example. It's recommended to budget at least 2,000 US dollars. If an expat budgets wisely, they can often survive on their emergency budget if needs be for at least two or three months in Southeast Asia. Do I really need an emergency fund? Well, of course, if you have a job or an opportunity waiting for you, then an emergency fund may not be a priority. However, However, in the modern world, it's often strongly recommended to start building that emergency fund and this is why the topic of money is our first stage. The initial process covers everything that you need to do either to help you build that emergency fund or start getting the ball rolling so that you can quit your job and live abroad more effortlessly. I've put together a few categories and topics to focus on during this initial process. However, bear in mind that these are not mandatory, but they do serve expats well. So the initial process includes building your personalized plan, selling unwanted items, storing any remaining items or research moving some of your items to your chosen country, informing the bank that you are moving, researching places, costs, visa requirements, etc. And finally, researching how you will earn your income if applicable. One of the most interesting topics at this stage is the last option which was researching how you will earn your income. As mentioned this may not be applicable in your situation. For example perhaps you are planning your retirement and have your pension income already but if you do not have an income then this is the time to investigate your options. Luckily however there are many opportunities to earn money with a strong internet connection so now that the ball has been rolling and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you can feel a sense of excitement as you know that it's only a few months away until you can fly to your perfect dream destination. So what is the checklist? Well the checklist is a stage that involves investigating other areas that are often forgotten. These can include arranging health coverage, pre-medical checks and obtaining any essential prescriptions, copies of any important documentation that you will need, COVID-19 requirements, cancellation of any subscription or old contracts and finally ordering new and emergency bank cards. So at stage four, the ball is as big as it's ever been and now it's time to take some official action. In other words, it's time to set the date and book your international flights along with any hotel stays. At this stage of your journey, it may be a month or even a few weeks until you're due to fly out. Naturally, you will have some concerns about your new life. Some of these fears can revolve around topics such as, what is my life going to be like? Am I going to enjoy it? Will I be able to make new friends and even build a social life? Am I going to have enough money to live comfortably? These concerns are completely normal. But beside this, these fears can often be addressed with detailed planning and strategic action. If you are in a job that you dislike, then saying, I quit because I'm going to move to a new country, is one of the best feelings in the world. However, I would recommend not to burn any bridges. I've seen this happen too many times through my years of management. And the chances are you will not return to the job that you once had, but you may return home one day. In addition, you may find that your ex-bosses have connections with other people you know and other businesses that you may be applying for in the future. So it's always wise to be professional and courteous. 